Good afternoon, ladies. Welcome to Shepherd's Fashions. I'm Marlene Shepherd, and we're coming to you live on Facebook and Instagram from Shepherd's Fashions here in the train yards in Ottawa, Canada. And this afternoon, we wanted to feature a fantastic Canadian designer by the name of Susie Rohr. She's been in business many years. We've been buying from her for oh, 20, 25 years. Uh, she started in belts and then went into scarves uh, about 20 years ago, and we love them. And I wanted to show you, this is my own Susie Rohr scarf that I've had for, well, I think we were talking six, seven, eight years. And uh, you really have to see this because you could actually, I could put it back in the store now and sell it like new because it is perfect. It doesn't pill, it stands the test of time, and I've used it many, many times. So I just wanted to show you that, I mean, I'm a great believer in Susie Rohr's product, and uh, they do make a great uh, item to have in your wardrobe. <clears throat> but today we're featuring her new collection uh, for fall. Uh, we're gonna show you some scarf tricks. We have different models of different sizes and heights, and uh, so we're really gonna highlight her fall collection just to give you uh, an update on what Susie is, what she's all about. She is a Canadian designer uh, based in Toronto, uh, but she likes to use uh, Italians for her scars and her belts. She uses Italian hardware and leather on her belts, though they're made in Canada and all her scars are made in Italy. And it's really an interesting story because her husband is also a designer, computer expert and a designer. So he designs, he take, he's a photographer, so he takes photographs and then they put them onto her scars. So it's quite a process. All of her scars are original, obviously original works of art. Uh, the, her, his work is featured in galleries. So she puts her artwork onto her scars. They're all hand fringed, they're made in Italy. The top of the line silken model. They don't pill, they're nice and large, and I'm gonna show you the one I'm wearing. Again, if you love color, this is perfect. Look at this. Beautiful, beautiful. So they really, they are an investment piece. They're uh, all, mostly all over, I think, Kirsten, $300. Yeah. Yes. Um, but again, as I say, they don't pill. Look at the size of them. And because of the model and the silk, they just, they're not bulky at all. You can really do lots of, lots of things with them, so. Well, and Marlene, we posted a little uh, clip this morning of Elaine t talking about the scarves, and one customer, she commented and she said they are an investment, but she has a few, and every time she puts them on, she feels amazing. Amazing, yes. It so she said it's worth it. Yeah, Yeah, it definitely is. They definitely are an investment piece. I've got it tangled up here. But it is, um, they always have lots of color, beautiful patterns. Mm -hmm. Again, they're not trendy. These are not items that, you know, are saying, oh, that was from you know, 20, 2020, but we all want to forget <laughs> this year, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm going to turn it over to the ladies. They've all got a little trick or two, and we're going to show it to you on different uh, outfits and different colorways and to show you how useful and adaptable they are to your wardrobe. So, Kirsten, hey. good afternoon. Good afternoon. It's a light day today. Yeah. 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 <laughs> we're usually on in the morning. First thing, I feel a little brighter then, but <laughs> busy day. So I'm in a full denim look, and sometimes you think like when you're in a denim and a casual outfit, maybe you don't think to add a scarf, but I think when you're doing blue on blue on blue, you need something to break it, or if you're doing all black, or you're doing all of one color, a scarf is a great way to break all of that kind of monochromatic dressing, and it draws your eye up. So it draws you right up to your face, which is where you want people to look, right, exactly. right at your face. And we call it tabletop dressing, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it, it, it really does highlight your face. So on a day, like I said, it's been the end of the day. We're usually at the beginning of the day when our makeup is fresh and everything, and it's not now. So this will draw some light to your face. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's so important to have a couple of really good scarves in your wardrobe. And I, and I really believe that if you're going to invest into a scarf, it should be a couple of really good pieces. And the silk in these scarves is what to me makes them feel so beautiful. They just really do have a high-end luxury feel because they have the silk in them. Don't you find that, Marlene? Yes. Oh, it's yeah. just, it really does feel it does, luxurious. And it doesn't feel bulky ever. No, and, and yeah. when you take them off, like I'm going to do right now, we're really going to see this one, yeah. You can see the drape is still there. There's still body now, in the scarf. Now, on the tag, the it has the name there. You okay, really have to see Alice it. Paul. 
This is Alice Paul. Alice Paul. And she was one yes. of the strategists of the campaign for the 19th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution, yeah. which prohibits sex discrimination in the right to vote. Wow. So this is a lovely girl. Yeah, here. exactly. This year is the 100th anniversary of the amendment. Wow. So this yeah. is uh, made in Italy. And look at the story behind that. So it is. It's a great girlfriend gift. Very inspiring to give it to a friend, another girlfriend, or a co-worker, a sister. And something else too. Did you notice I had this all wrapped up? Elaine wrapped it up around me and I've taken it off and look at it. It's Love beautiful. It. Yeah. No it doesn't calls. look like it's all scrunched no, up absolutely. and wrinkly and awful and it just it the silk gives it some body. So I think, you know, so if you want if you wear a lot of denim, this is perfect because it's got all the blues and a little bit of that red. Yeah. So I'll just tell you what else yes. I'm wearing here. This is the first time you've tried this on. Yeah, this is a really, really nice collection. I mean, we've already featured it, but I, I wasn't in the video, so this is something I put on and I love it. This is the extra large. This is testimony, fits small, okay? And you're going to layer something underneath it, so you need a little bit of room because it is a jacket. There's loads of stretch in this. Mm -hmm. and but it needs to nip in because it really is kind of giving that illusion of an hourglass shape so and then I've got these new jeans I got to tell you about these I love them these are Lisette we've always done the up pull on jean and now we're doing the Lisette jean and I have to say they have done a great job with these they're a skinny leg which I think is fine you can wear it with a boot a flat with anything you can even tuck it in and do a riding boot it's got pull up so you can see mm. right here it just pulls on to me it's got a good rise on it because I'm really picky about that because I'm so long and I tell you the comfort is there there's loads of stretch it's so comfortable these are a great jean these will take you for years and what size are you wearing I'm Kirsten? wearing a 12 you're a 12 and you're normally a 14 normally so a 14, you might go so down I'm down on these so. and in the testimony jacket let's XL. just XL so it's a, it is a smaller fit, but it is supposed to be close to the body. Yeah, uh, lots and stretch. Under it, so you need a little bit of room. So don't go yeah. uh, down on this. No, it's not not the line to do that. And that's the matching tank, which is nice. It's a tank. It's sleeveless. I'm so glad we did the matching yes. tank. Yes. Yeah. I think it's perfect. Yeah. And one last look at the scarf. I love it from Susie Rohr. Again, Susie a Canadian Rohr. designer. Silk. With as a real tribute Silk to the hundredth. Uh, wow. Amendment to the Constitution. For that women's beautiful? rights. I love it. There we go. Okay, so Nellie. Come on in, Nellie. Come on. They're waiting for you. Hello. <laughs> we can Hello. only get Hello. Nellie here in the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Nellie. I'm wearing this uh, over under simply dress with a slit. Two yeah, slits, one yeah. side, and the other side, two. And a narrow pants, BB. Today I'm gonna show you this scarf. Oh, I'm Come a little closer. We can just see the way you draped it, because you're really the yes. wizard with scarves. This scarf. Yeah. So I'm gonna take it off, and yeah. I'm gonna show you how to put it on. Okay. Okay. First. What's the name of that scarf? It's a uh, all roar. All roar uh, and no no bite. bite. All roar and no, no bite. bite. No bite. <laughs> and Susie Roar always has a little message for every scarf. You continue, continue. Yes. Look, look, show them the whole scarf because the cowardly lion yes. from the lion. Wizard of Oz lion. received this what he desired <laughs> only to realize he had yes. it all yes. along. I love animals. <laughs> Becoming one of the most respected and bravest in yes. the kingdom. That's yeah. you, right? Okay. Isn't that beautiful? It's just a me. The colors, the colors. Look at the color. And, uh, what did you? What did you? Everybody laughing. <laughs> right over top. You've <laughs> got purples in there and blues. Okay, now show us your trick. My trick Hurry up! Is, we don't have all okay. night here. These people want to make dinner. Okay. <laughs> no dinner for you. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up, now. Okay. How am I gonna do it? Hurry up! Hurry up! I cannot do that. Okay. First, you're gonna roll this scarf here. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Don't laugh, okay? Okay. <laughs> Don't laugh, we'll pee our pants. All right. <laughs> All right. I'm going to roll it. And so now there's a little bit of purple showing there. Yes. Purple. 
and yeah. whatever you like colors, okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Whoa, yes, look at that. And you're petite, Nelly. you're five foot one, so okay. yep, continue. And Do a little knot. Yes. Okay, right yeah. through, yes. Nice. Oh. Okay. And this, um, maybe a little closer off, thank you. Closer. Yes. Yeah, okay. Okay, I'm going to make it like a fit, like this. One, two, like whatever. You're sort of pleating it up. Pleat, yeah. Oh, you so they're saying the f sounds a little muffled today. Oh. Could it be that glass of wine you had at three? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to put this one to the hole here. Okay. okay. This. Oh, nice. All right. Tied it and play with it. This. There you go. That's beautiful. Wow. Just tied your tags there. Perfect. That's gorgeous. Very, very pretty. And petite. Remember, she's five foot one. And you would think the scarf would be overpowering, but it's not. So this is called all oh, bite and no roar, or that's all roar and no bite. Hey, just Beautiful. Like no bite. Okay. No bite. Okay. No bite. Oh, good. good. No all right. Bite. No bite. Okay. Next. <laughs> Next is you. <okay. laughs> just quickly, I just wanted you to see. I wanted to see you had the Kristen had this on with denim. Yes. So I just wanted you to see. Look, you see, you can wear it with black. And that's the beauty of her designs and her uh, original art, okay. is that it can really work with lots of different colors. Okay, Wonderful. so me, I'll be okay. Right. okay, so hi, bonjour. I am sending you virtual hugs and kisses, literally, with my silk scarf. So Marlene may have mentioned the reason that these are a little higher price point I think they're over $300, mm -hmm. okay, is because there is a difference in silk. And Susie has always gone to the best silk possible on the market. What does that mean? It means that you will have these forever. They really are a piece to wear forever. And that is important. I think in this day and age when there's a lot of disposable fashion, it's nice to go to pieces that you know will last and stand the test of time. So this is called XO and I'm wearing it against navy. So I went to the lantern pant from Simply and I'm doing the go-to tee, so it's a really nice uh, base, but it really does benefit from accessorizing. And so, do you wanna see the scarf full? Okay, here it goes. Okay, we left the, uh, the price tags on these just for, for ease. Um, and well, here look at, is look at this. the unveiling. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. Wow, XO. XO. Okay. So it's okay, okay to XO. Yes. Love the message mm -hmm. in there. Okay, so colors in here. You've got your purples, your blues, your denim, your grays, and it's all about printing. Now, the, this is um, silk uh, screening printing, which again is a very special, meticulous process. And um, the Photography is done by Susie Rohr's husband. He is a professional photographer. They're inspired by, by adventure when you used to travel. They used to travel a lot. They visit art galleries. So it's very, very uh, art forward. Mm -hmm. And these are all limited edition scarves. Mm -hmm. So um, you will not, you know, they're sold in- uh, So you won't see copies ones. of these because it's all no. original artwork. Yep. Exactly, okay. okay. You'll see this on something else okay. upcoming. Okay, come Bye. on in, Lorraine. Bye. Right, I feel like I'm ready for the outside today. It's been a dreary day here in Ottawa, and I've got this fabulous Ilsa Jacobson jacket on. Ooh, and so, I adore this jacket. And so here I have a Susie Roar scarf as well. This time it's a little more of a smoky gray color story with just hints of color here and there throughout the scarf. And so. So this must be called 50 Shades of Gray. Right. Uh, is a that's a British uh, romantic novel written by E. L. James, and uh, she, uh, Rose, uh, Susie created four pieces of artwork here with her own distinctive color, beauty, and narrative. So, it's a again every story, every scarf has a story. A story, I love that about it, and you can see the amount of work. Really, it is quite. Each scarf is quite a creation. The graphics on these. Uh, scarves are really well thought out. Um, she's, there's some photos, some nostalgia photos, I would say of the space launch, some back from the 60s, 
uh, some 70s. There was a, another photo on here that's, I think, out of the 70s. And then, of course, we have something out of the 1700s. Oh, wow. Prints or something on there. Yeah. And with some of the polka dot. But here, if I fold it out so you can sort of see. There. Mm -hmm. and, and it's, it's beautiful, the, the, yeah. The fabric is so fine. You can see through it pretty much, too. So it's all silk and model, and again, yeah. they're made in Italy, and it's all original uh, artwork because uh, Susie's husband is a photographer, so he uses his photographs, and they reproduce them on the scarves. So good. Beautiful. All right. Okay. <clears throat> so I just thought I would show this. Thank you. You saw this earlier on somebody, I can't remember who, <laughs> Elaine. So again, you can see, look at the volume to this scarf, lots. It, you can just wear it like a shawl. So you just, again, it's how you fold this scarf in terms of which color do you want to bring out. You know, if you want more of the blue or more of the purple. And again, it's just, they're very, very lightweight. And as you can see, they just drape and add interest around the facial area, which is, again, when we talk about Kind of where you want the interest in a little bit of color and texture so they all as you can see they go to black and lane had this on with navy and um so and even denim so come on nelly let's see what you've got nelly's got the black uh, dress on and she's got a she changed her scarf so hello, <laughs> hello. look at the size of that yes. right this that's beautiful the, uh... Is that called? Oh, we are Alice Paul. Oh yes, okay, we yes. saw that before. But yes. this is a different color, right? I think you saw this the blue is one the, uh, one. Uh, yeah, yeah, we have the blue. I think it's, uh, who's wearing it? It's uh, Kirsten. Kirsten. And this is the camel color, and the pink and the brown. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful color. Yeah, it's kind of like a terracotta yes. shade, right? But again, because she has the black lettering in it, you can wear it to I black. Show you the yeah. picture. Is that the, the right one? Yeah, Marlene. Oh, oh no, beautiful. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is the one. See? Look at how pretty it is. It See is. See the picture? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. No, Love I'm it. Show you how to wear. It. Oh, and I like your necklace, Nelly. Tell us a little bit about that. That's this the, is the Bethany necklace. Oh yeah, in the sterling Isn't that silver. Beautiful. Yeah, with the. It's oh. so nice and light. I have matching uh, bracelet, mm -hmm. and I'm wearing the earring as well. All right, and the clip, beautiful. right? Yeah. Yes, the clip. We also have pierce as well. Yeah, I think yes. the pierce sold. Yeah. Good. Yeah, All yeah. right. Thank you, Nelly. So I'm going to. Oh, you're going to show a trick. Okay. Yes, sorry. I'm going to show the trick. Okay. This is a simple trick. Okay. And everybody should know this is easy as well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to put it like this. Oh, okay. See how pretty? Oh yes. Kind of like that. Um, yeah. Yes. And yes. Then I'm gonna put it like this. Put it oh. like this. And then you won't lose this, you know? Especially in the winter time, you don't want to lose the expensive scarf. Mm -hmm. See, I put it like that, tie it there, mm -hmm. and then place it again like that. And then you just, that's the beauty of these scarves, right? And they don't, so uh, light. yeah, they're very this, light. No? They look, they're, they're so expansive. They're so large, but. And you can wear it like that. And you can wear it like this, this like that. Mm -hmm. It's gorgeous. See? Beautiful. Okay. Good. Thank you, Nelly. All right, Elaine. Okay. <clears throat> I am back in the one, two, three scarf. Have we shown this one yet? No. Um, okay. So Susie really believes that a scarf anchors a look, and that's what we're doing with this. So I am using this, like this is my favorite pant of the season. It's from Spanner. We showed it yesterday. It's ultra suede, and it fits ultra fabulously it is like a jegging okay and i'm doing it with this kind of arctic colored white turtleneck and it's also from spanner so we thought instead of doing a white blouse which you could do with these scarves we wanted to do knitwear very much kind of telling of the season the cool season um, with us and this is called the, the one two three red scarf and it's all about numbers so again you have to kind of investigate unveil 
the scarf to find out what, what the message is here. And it's, all, it's always about like, uh, you know, we're always counting. It's all about numbers, right, in our society. Um, and sometimes we even just use numbers to count uh, to go to sleep. And it's, it's count it's sheep a, at count night. Count sheep yes. at night. So you see how you've got the blues, the purples, the fuchsia and together. So there's a passion in the color blending here. And again, I want you to feel the lightness of this texture. And it's silk modal, and it again, it's the best quality of silk because there's different qualities out there. And, and Susie was telling me where she has her scarves made in Italy, yes. the people there in that factory, they actually go to like a university uh, school to learn all about the fabrics, the silk, yes. and how many different qualities there are, and the, the th you know, the thread that they use to create these. So this exactly. is a true profession, a European profession. Exactly. And that's really what you're paying for too, is exactly. this top-notch quality. Exactly. And the so, original art. But I like this because it's also denim friendly. Absolutely. I okay. think that Lorraine is back. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so I have the same scarf that Nellie had on just earlier, and we thought we'd show it with a different type of look. Mm -hmm. So I have the sweater that I had on on my last look. This is a spanner mm -hmm. turtleneck. And I just put it over the um, Eileen Fisher basic oh. sleeveless dress. Yes. So the tank dress, that's nice. So we've got a slim, slim skirt there. Slim, so it's sort of a pencil skirt yeah. look now to the yeah. sweater. And uh, so yeah. I think the color goes very well with this, with this mm -hmm. uh, sort of a rust, a soft <coughs> pinky rust. Yeah. And yeah, I think that's all, that's all online. Yeah. And yeah, I like that scarf because it has that terracotta and that, yeah. um, but then it still pulls black in. Very warm, very nice up against the skin tone. Mm -hmm. and, uh, how do you like to wear your scarves? I, I, I think I do it that way from, I have a point, get it as long as I can, mm -hmm. and I drape it this way, and then I come around to the front. Certainly if you're wearing it with a coat, you'd want it tight to your neck. You could even double it around if you wanted to. And I would like to have one <coughs> strand a little longer than the other, hence mm -hmm. the length in the, the figure a little bit. Mm -hmm. But uh, I could easily put a black coat over this now because there's the black and the typeset in the graphic. Mm -hmm. And uh, oh, it's beautiful. It would look lovely on a brunette as well because there's some browns mm -hmm. in here, some auburn, rust. Mm -hmm. Nice for a redhead too. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, and I love it. And yeah, again, Lorraine, you're, you're a petite. You're five yes. foot three. Yes. And you're size six. Yes. And it so. doesn't overwhelm me at all. No. I mean, again, you can see how fine. Yeah, that that's right. You can really, and you could double that and even just twist it around your neck, right? Yes, and, uh, definitely. And there's <clears> actually <throat> some pink in here too, ladies. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing that now. Mm -hmm. It's just, for this this work is really a work of art, mm -hmm. these, these scarves. Okay. Beautiful. So, okay, so I think yeah, Nellie's, we've got, we've got Nellie. Nellie. Nellie's Nellie. coming in. Come on in, Nellie. We're waiting for you. <laughs> So the drama, the dramatic Nelly as she makes Hello. her entrance. Yes. Okay, this is the uh, this year of this uh, 1234 red. This is the, you wore this one, right, Marlene? Yes, yes, yes. At the beginning. Yes. Okay. So now I'm gonna show you how to wear this. Punchy colors in that one, boy. Yes. I just wanna. And I guess, and also one. <coughs> denim, the, denim friendly. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so they want you to I'm come a little closer. They want to follow you. Yeah. Okay, there, and twist it one more. Mm -hmm. This is easy. You can do it like that. Huh? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to do it like this. Just like that. So it's really shortened it up, hasn't yes. it? See, you want the red, or what do you want the purple? Mm -hmm. And the red. Mm -hmm. These are all hand fringed. Yes. They've all done the fringe by hand. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Easy. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. Again, and it's how you yeah, fold that, that scarf yeah. to what color you, you want know, to bring this, out. This, this scarf so soft, it can <coughs> play like you know whatever. Mm -hmm. How you like it? See, it's just yeah. nice. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Beautiful. Okay. So, okay. Lorraine, or uh, I'm ready. 
Okay. Yes, I heard. Oh, okay. okay. All right. So um, we talked about belts. Okay. And uh, we have been showing. We've got two major styles of Suzy Roar belts again. Pieces that will last a lifetime. The quality is exceptional. So we're talking leather belt. This is contoured, and the hardware is Italian. I'll show you more. Okay. But I I wanted to take the quilted jacket and belt it. I think it's kind of fun. It's a different way to wear it, and it really showcases the waistline. Okay, so I'll take that off, and I'm gonna take a little black dress, and I'm gonna accessorize it, and show you how easy it is to do when you've got the right pieces. So this, as uh, you saw, Lorraine mentioned that she wore hers as a skirt. That was kind of fun. So this is the Eileen Fisher basic tank dress. I'm wearing the size medium. Um, I've put on a little weight, uh, so I kind of still kind of fits, but boy, does it ever feel good. It's natural fibers. Then I think I'll add the, the belt first. Sure. Okay. So again, this is a better view of the belt. It's the contoured belt. It's and this better. is a one size and I would say it fits up to like a 14. Okay, great. So what you want to do is you want to take it, put, put it to the small of your back. Okay and take it to the front. So I'm placing the piece in the loop, under, over, and inside through it. Okay, then you kind of adjust it however you want. So you've got it again at the waist, at the back, and then it kind of goes down to an angle. What does that do for body shape? It does great things. It elongates the torso, and it kind of cuts against any kind of tummy so I thank you Susie for doing that for us <laughs> and it really adds a little wow to the dress now I'm gonna add so I'm very drawn to this for the colors right I think it really works beautifully with warm colors, uh, warm colors. Yeah. and you just take it place it against the brace breastbone bring it back back like that. Now, I've got my angle going on my belt, so I'm going to do a similar angle, same side here as I tie up the edges. Mm, very nice. Look at that. <clears throat> I, I should mention I've also got some great accessories yeah. in the bed and the <coughs> silver, silver yeah. bangle and these. So, I mean, you know, but these are pieces that you just do and wear and wear and then yeah, exactly. We're not going sleeveless. You could imagine that a dress, a right. long sleeve dress, or these long cardigans are really making uh, a big splash on the yes. on this on the fashion scene this this fall. So look at that, and then the belt just peek. It's just a peekaboo belt. Exactly. Now. So we mentioned in the uh, the promos that we did for this that you know any body shape can wear a belt. It's a matter of doing the peekaboo. So you just kind of accent it. You don't need to show the full thing. You know. But there's one rule about a belt, okay. right? So if your tummy protrudes past your bust line, okay. then you should avoid belts. But if there is, if your bust is larger than your uh, uh, your 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 uh, waistline, mm -hmm. then you definitely can wear a belt. But I like to wear a belt because, but I only show a little tiny bit, just like this. Exactly. I'll wear it with a long cardigan, so it's that peekaboo, and I'll always wear the belt that goes around my waist in the same yes. color that I'm wearing. So I don't cut oh, myself into two. I so it's just it. the buckle that is shining and pulls together the earring and the bracelet. That's so great. if you had a red belt, it would go right to your waistline. And so if you don't want the attention there, wear the belt the same color as the dress, but let the buckle um, send the message. I, yes, good. Okay, Lorraine. So here again, I have the same dress on. I mean, I just had on, and I had it on earlier with the sweater. This time I thought I'd have fun with the dress. I turned it around. It's very possible with this dress. Um, so I've got yeah. back to the front. And so it's a higher neckline, obviously. And uh, I think it's, it gives it a little more of a modern look to the dress. And again, the beautiful Susie Rohr scarf. Lots of charcoal grays in this one with some purples, lavender. And you're a scarf person, Lorraine, right? I, I do. It like a really scarf. finishes Because I look. often put my hair up in a ponytail, so I like to have something around my, my neck. 
Yes. So, and it, we put it with the testimony jacket like mm -hmm. that Kirsten had earlier. Similar um, style she was wearing. This is the slate color. The, this, the uh, right, and in the Victorian style, she right. wore a different style. So it's right. quite cute, the dress. And, and again, the scarf, this scarf would work with so many pieces. Yes. And you're petite, you're about five foot three. Yes, five foot three. Right? So it's not overwhelming. No, it's such a fine fabric mm -hmm. that it does roll up. Um, it's not a bulky scarf. Right. It's very decorative. Okay, so, so I'll take that off so I can show. Susie Roar, now Marlene, what did she start with first? This she's, is many years ago she's been in business. Yes. Did she start with belts or scarves? No, she started with belts. Okay. Yes. She's okay. a belt designer, that's how it started. All of her leather and her hardware is from Italy. She yeah, likes the I best quality. Very and uh, yeah. she is famous all over the world. You'd see her belts in Harrods and uh, Saks Fifth Avenue. And she is Canadian. She's from Toronto. So oh, Her studio is in Toronto, Yes, right? and that's where the belts are made. Yes, and it's, it's best quality for sure. And this one, she's been making this one for a little while now too. Yes. And it's a timeless piece. Well, you know what What draw, drew me to uh, Susie was definitely the style of her belts but and the quality, but that they all stretch. So, and it's very deceiving. When you look at the belt, you don't see that it's a stretch belt. But if you bring it up a little closer, Lorraine, you'll see that there's really top quality, the elastic there, the leather at the ends. Yes, yes. So it becomes very comfortable where you can put it over jackets, uh, you could put it on your hip, to put it on your waist, waist, or like you did, you can loop it in any of those ovals. I would advise, this is the size medium, and I'm about a size four in the top, but I would go a little longer. I could, I, the, the size small fits me, but I like to have a little extra here, so I have that option to do this. I can also, like Marlene said, I could wear it over the hip if there was a, some sort of a... Look at that, that looks so great. If I was wearing a crop sweater <coughs> over mm -hmm. here, then maybe I'd want to put it across my hip. Um, it could also go over with a coat. Exactly, look so, at, just belt that, even cross yes. it over, and you'll see. So yeah. there we go. Okay, so yeah. you can do that. I could go a little tighter. Mm -hmm. If it was a bulkier coat. Yeah, I would well, I mean, like uh, Elaine had it over her, her uh, like a quilted coat. So yeah. again, there's lots of versatility and I just, yeah. and it, it's extremely comfortable. Yeah, and the, and the metal on this is yes. a sturdy metal. Yes. This is good. This yeah. lasts a lifetime. It's not more. a shiny, it's a bit of a, of a matte, matte finish. finish. Yeah. So. Very well thought out. Yeah. Perfect. Right. So you have another look? Well, uh, quickly. yeah. Well, I think we only showed We have to get to make, everybody's got to make dinner or get yes, to eat. <laughs> right. Uh, so I, I just like the idea of uh, injecting length here with the scarf. So again, it just kind of echoes what's happening with the dress. <coughs> and again, uh, this is the 50 Shades of Grey uh, piece. And I, I want to show it to you just one more time again, if I could, because of all the different colors that go to slate grey. And of course, slate grey goes so beautifully to black. So anchored in neutrals uh, but with great color stories hours and hours of fun in putting these on and it's as simple as that all the pieces are available online and i think marlene has a last scarf to show you well and not all of us want to have a patterned scarf so susie does this great ombre so this is all shades of gray right from a black to a charcoal to that beautiful silver and again sometimes that's all you need to have just you want a little bit of texture up around your face and some color uh, or even if you're wearing a pattern these ombres work really well so again that's what the ombre looks like in the gray See, you know it's it, it it looks like silk it has a very silk texture yeah, yeah. but yet it's the same texture as all of the printed scarves so exactly um, so again you know this is where you could wrap it three times you can uh, I love that you can wear them underneath coats you really want to and um, so anyway ladies thank so you for joining us today to uh, uh, to see the Susie Rourke collection again a Canadian designer 